Hi, I'm Ed from Hula, and today I'm going to be talking you through creating a case. We're going to be starting in the people area, found in the top navigation, and from here we can search for our client and see their details. If your client has already been quoted, you'll see this in the quotes area on the right. If you haven't created a case from this quote already, you'll see an instruct client button, which if we click, will begin the create case process. From here, we can choose what type of case this will be. We'll be choosing a conveyancing case as our example. If your case started before today, you can set your own start date. And if we click next, because we chose a conveyancing case, we'll now enter the property details. If we weren't doing a conveyancing case, this part would be skipped. This can be made easier by using your land registry details as it will run an inquiry by property description for you automatically. But we're going to do without for this demo. If we enter the property details, like address and tenure, then click next, we'll move on to the options. Selecting an appropriate workflow for your case is important because it will pull through all your documents and tasks that you need to work with. We also have the option to create an initial invoice, which we'll do and the option to invite the client to keep them in the loop. Clicking next would give us the option of setting any custom data for this case, but we're going to skip this and create the case without any extra information. When creating an invoice for the first time, you'll see that most of the data is already filled in for you, like the client and invoiceable items. We're going to leave this as it is, Set an invoice value of 250, then click Save. And here's our new conveyancing case, set up and ready to go. You'll notice that your client has been added and the invoice has been generated. And that's all there is to it.